give you a little story time about the time I met Maria Menounos and I went to the 2013 Hall of Fame, WWE Hall of Fame. You guys always ask me, you know, how did you, how did you meet The Undertaker? How did you meet Paul Heyman? How did you go to the Hall of Fame? So I'm going to tell you about it. Back in 2012, it was, I believe it was July. I remember it was in the summertime. It was some random, some random night. I tweeted Maria and I tweeted her something along the lines of, hey, then you're going to be the next Divas champion, champion or some corny shit like that. It was some random shit. And then... Like, later that night, it was like maybe two hours later, she DM'd me right back. She's like, hey, the real question is, when are you going to do the show with me? And I was just, I was shocked. I didn't know what to say. So I spoke to her for, you know, a little while that night. She told me that she knew me from YouTube, you know, in 2009, from the Sim Fuckers days. If you don't know about that, go check out my interview on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description. But she told me that she used to watch my old videos and she liked them. She thought they were funny. She liked, you know, me on her show. And, you know, I, I told her, I let her know, we'll talk, I asked my mom, this and that, and she told me, like, I talked to your mom, you know, and she didn't say about what, she just said, I spoke to your mom, and I was just like, really? I don't know, she never told me, and to this day, she never... I don't think I ever asked her what she talked to her about. Asked my mom, that is, what, what she spoke to her about. But, you know, we kept in communication after that. She sent me a box of stuff, I believe, like an autograph and some stuff from, I think, the E, the e Network. It was a hat and some stuff. It was cool. Maria was nice. Like I said, we kept in contact. Um, you know, I asked her about Dancing with the Stars because she was on it at that time. And then I just said some really stupid shit. Like, I remember I was asking her about info, like spoilers, if she's gonna do this. And if she knew about, about the rumor on this, like, I was very, I was dumb. I think I was 18. I, I, I didn't know. I just asked her for dumb information. And then my dad kept asking me to ask her stuff about Chris, about Tina Fey, and I don't know, like, he had me, he had me ask her, and then I remember this really stupid thing I asked her, or I told her, I told her about some chick on Twitter that was tweeting her stupid shit. I don't know how, I don't remember how I knew this, but she was tweeting Maria dumb stuff on Twitter. And I just, I was like, yo, she was treating you this and this. I blocked her and this is her username. Like this crazy stuff. I was a dumb, a dumb kid back in 2012. I was just nuts. And then later that year, or I think early next year, I think it was January 2013, then she hit me up. She was like, well, she, we kept in contact 
for a year, but she hit me up. She was like, hey, I'm going to be inducting, I think it is Bob Backling at the Hall of Fame. Do you want to be my guest? And I'm like, you know, sure. I'm not going to turn that down. So she gave me the contact information for her manager. I think it was Tina, um, her manager, so they can get the tickets for the Hall of Fame. So my mom called her manager, did all that, and then she gave me her boyfriend or her fiance at the time his contact number. And she told me, call, call him after the Hall of Fame so we can get backstage, so we can meet her. So we went to the, we went to the, to the show, the Hall of Fame. It was really good. Um, Bob Backlund got inducted. Trish Stratus was inducted. Mick Foley got inducted, which I was really excited for because he's my longtime friend. And I'll, I'll get to that in another story if you guys are interested about how, you know, I met Mick Foley and all that. But he got inducted, Booker T got inducted, um, who else? I think Donald Trump, Vince McMahon inducted Donald Trump, and oh, there was one more. It wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was the one that inducted the person. Who, who inducted, hold on, Bruno San Martino, got to... Got to uh, Bob Backlund inducted. But yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good in, induction. I had fun. It was my first time going to that. It was in New York. Like I said, I had a good time. After the show, my mom was calling Maria's boyfriend so we can go backstage, get an answer. I think I tweeted, I sent her DMs on Twitter. She, she was probably busy. She didn't answer. So, the, the arena was getting empty. Pe a lot, people there, everybody was almost gone. So, the cleanup crew was like, hey, you gotta go. You know, we're cleaning up. You gotta go. And we're trying to explain to that person that we know Maria Menounos and we're supposed to go backstage. And then I forgot if they contacted Maria or the fiance eventually came out and got us. But we were just close to being thrown out of the building. But we went backstage and by that time, you know, a lot of the people that were there left, the superstars. But there was a good amount of people there. Um, we saw Mick Foley, my friend, like, like I said, and he jokingly said, hey, you replaced me with Maria. I think she's a, a better upgrade than me. Something along those lines. But we seen Mick Foley, um, CM Punk, I was really excited to see, and he was really, he was chill. He asked me, am I excited for, so, was it WrestleMania? WrestleMania, and I was like, yeah. We took a picture. If I could find the pictures, I'll put them up in the video. If not, there's some on my Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description or it's in front of the video like I always put, but I'll put the picture. Um, who else can I meet? The Undertaker, he was a really, he was a chill dude. I was excited he was there. Um, Terry Funk, he was, he was really good. He was talking to me. Bob Backling, he was really nice. He asked me, 
if I enjoyed the show, if I'm hyped for WrestleMania. I believe I met Bruno San Martino, but I didn't get a chance to take a picture. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I met him, but then I feel like I did it. I don't know. If I find the picture, I'll put it up. If not, I'm probably talking out of my ass. But I met Trish Stratus. And funny story about that. I met Trish Stratus. I was talking to her. I forgot what we were talking about. And then Paul Heyman came up to me. And I was talking to him for a couple minutes. We were talking about the show. WrestleMania, you know, my favorite match, who's my favorite manager of all time, this and that. We took a picture, and while that was happening, Trish Stratus, who I was supposed to take a picture of it, then took it back. She left. I don't know what happened, but she left. So I was pretty bummed. I didn't get a chance to take a picture with her, but I got to chop it up with Paul Heyman for a long time, it felt like. So that was pretty good. And then, who else did I meet? I said Bob, ba Bob Backling. I met Santa Claus. I didn't know who was under, under that costume, but I met Santa Claus. And then, the night ended with, I believe, Mick Foley. I was talking to him and Maria Menounos. And, yeah, that was the story about the Hall of Fame and who I met. So after that, you know, I kept in contact with Maria Menounos for maybe a year after that. And then, I don't know, did we just stop talking? I hit her up in 2015, you know the answer. I think I hit her up like seven months ago. Then I found out her mom had the uh, the cancer, and then she had the whole brain cancer stuff. I hit her up. I missed her, her and her mom, well, but she never got back to me. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm mad at Maria Menounos because she did a lot for me. It was cool of her to, to, for her to do what she did. She didn't have to. So I have no bad feelings towards her. Maria, if you're seeing this, I hope you're doing good. I wish you the best. You know, I follow you on Instagram. I like what you do. And yeah, guys, that was my story. I hope you like this little rambling. And uh, let me know your, what you like in the comments. Let me know what other story times you'd like to hear. My Hell in a Cell review will be up tonight. If you missed my predictions, go check that out really quick. I'll leave that in the description or the end card but um leave a like if you like this uh story time subscribe if you're new turn on your post notifications so you know when i upload have a nice day guys peace